Welcome to Switch Corner, my name is Alex and today something a little bit different for you all. I wanted to take a look at the SD Gundam Battle Alliance demo on the Nintendo Switch and see how things are shaping up and if it's gonna be a day one. Bye! So with that luck hit subscribe, join us here on Switch Corner for reviews and deals near daily and let's get started. So the demo, it starts to introduce us to the story of this world. It's a unique concept. Now, I'm not huge on Gundam knowledge, honestly, but here we've been suckered into a false world known as G-Universe. It's a place where Gundam canon is manipulated in ways we may not expect. It's also then combined. It also brings together, though, mobile suits and characters from across Gundam history. Our role to though lead a free unit squadron from across that history and sort things out. It's a whole lot of dialogue here and no doubt this is going to be great stuff for fans with a deep knowledge. These are characters no doubt we don't typically see interact. That said though, someone who is, you know, I consider myself new to the series really, I had no issues at the same time getting into it. The only issue I've had so far with the story, honestly, it's in its delivery. Now, there's cutscenes and dialogue exchanges between missions, that is fine. But during missions as well, we get like a non-stop flow of conversation as well. And I actually struggled to keep up when the action was, you know, getting going. If there's a lot going on on screen, it's also going to be asking you to read subtitles at the same time. And I definitely found that a little bit challenging. The gameplay then under this, it's an action RPG that gives you a home base and asks you to not only head into battle, but work through extended dialogue sequences and build up a team. Now as you progress, new pilots, new mobile suits, they become available and you can start to strategize around a team that's going to be best, you know, suited to your style. Starting with the combat though, so far I am enjoying it. It's got a bit more depth than I anticipated and it quickly begins to ramp in new mechanics. It does this by opening the demo with a few simple tutorials, but it will add more further down the line as well. Controls and combat though, they are simple. We can jump, dash, we can fly to a certain extent, we can attack with a light and heavy option, and then we can use an array of weapons free in total. We also get then a special attack and a chain breaker. These can deliver some epic levels of damage. Alongside this, then expect to find the ability to order partners to a basic extent with their specials. You can repair yourself, you can revive partners that have fallen in battle, and you can lock on to enemies. All attacks or special movement, then it comes at the use of a stamina meter, though I'd call it pretty reasonable in regards to its, you know, depletion speeds. I do quickly want to point out as well, I always appreciate this in the options, you can reconfigure the control scheme as you please, always going to be a fantastic option. In the demo though, you'll be facing two mission types, that's going to be break missions as well as tree missions. So far it's basically using the same location twice to advance the story, the break mission is history essentially jumbled up, and then true mission, it's the real offence and you're re-registering it as canon to this world. It's a unique idea, but it almost identifies my main concern from a gameplay perspective this far. The missions are the same loop, that's the issue this far. I faced six so far and everyone has been this loop of walk a few feet, beat down some suits and repeat until a bus appears. I'm hoping when we see the full release there's a little more variety in here because there's not really a huge amount to do in this world outside of experiment with your team setup and find a few destructible crates. What I do like though, it's the RPG elements. We level up our pilot, we level up our suits, and then we can upgrade and equip parts as well. The first part available to me, for example, auto guard, and that's about as useful as they come if you're not in an attack pattern. You know, we'll demonstrate basically our ability at some patience before lashing out. These skills, they are attached to character levels, and so far it's been at levels five, 10, and 15. Upgrade wise, each mobile suit then gets a level and we can work through HP, boost, melee and ranged attacks using what is the in-game currency that we will be collecting. We can also achieve these levels much quicker if we make use of the item store where we can sell materials and parts. The only other areas to gameplay then that I've seen this far from the demo, we occasionally choose 
dialogue responses is a partner page which shows us pilots unlocked and details our level and friendship the latter being it seems dictated by taking them into battle we have a library of essentially tips cutscenes and music that we can play back and then we will be able to play online at release with up to two friends and locally as well i'd actually love to see some sort of pvp in here as well when it comes to this demo finally progress will be carried over should you pick up the full game but only to a certain extent that's going to be units pilots and partner pilots they max out at level five partner pilot friendship it maxes out at three capital it maxes out at ten thousand and option parts they max out at 20 per roll so far though I'm liking the idea but I do have as I said some concerns around the short burst mission format. It's just kind of repetitive goals and I'm hoping we see some changes and this may be just an early example as they're trying to get you into that gameplay loop. I've also noted the camera can get a little crazy at times when you find yourself surrounded and when you do lock onto an enemy on defeat it takes a little longer than I would like to redirect it to that next foe. It's definitely a decent demo though, a nice couple of hours of content here and there's enough to experiment with including difficulty options. Visually then, it's not the best looking game on the system honestly, I'm not sure what fans think of the chibi style that the SD variations use, but I would have loved to have seen this in a more traditional format. They are fine still, do not get me wrong, and with so much history there's a huge amount of variety, but with this kind of SD variation, the kind of epic scale, it's definitely somewhat lost in translation. Environments as well are not the most detailed, somewhat last gen feeling, low texture quality, mostly flat as well, occasionally you know clusters of structures, but it's definitely trying to keep it at least fresh with the landscape where it does change things up, think city on water or a desert as some early examples. I like the animations as well, the attacks look great and especially the specials that deliver a huge level of flash. Menus then are simple enough to navigate and the dialogue sequences in particular love the character models and constant switching even if they are mostly static. The sound field here then I really like as I said not the biggest bank of Gundam knowledge over here but I presume the majority of this is pulled from the series and so far it's been one like high intensity electronic piece after another and it absolutely reinforces these kind of mech on mech scenarios. The voice acting sounds great though again not in English understandably and the weapons and attack sounds they're nice and powerful. So the final verdict on this demo and I have some concerns after playing through this but it's honestly spiked my curiosity. Now look sure right now missions have been near identical but hopefully that's just early game setup as I said to get us into the swing of things but I also do wish the visual style was a little more impressive overall though honestly the combat's fun the constant flow of new mobile suits intrigues me and then leveling up and adding parts it feels like a great loop for experimentation give it a go though it's obviously free so what is there to lose and if you have played it let me know your thoughts in the comments down below was it enough to spur a day one purchase from you with that then look thanks for watching if the content was useful to you consider hitting that subscribe button helps the channel a huge amount we have near daily content as well and i'll see you all on the next video thanks everyone